Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This is Stencilgram, spelled just like it sounds, S-T-E-N-C-I-L, Gram, G-R-A-M, dot com. This is how I get all of my um, uh, things for like my glass blocks and stuff like that. But I want to show you how to do it. I already had one of these tutorials, but I didn't really get into it that much. All right, this is a photo that I've um, taken in, cleaned up, redone, highlighted, did all the work I needed to do. But now I need a nice dark, um, one color, black stencil, so to speak. So I'm going to come in here, and I, you use this to adjust it, okay, the balance bar. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to get it to where I think it looks okay, to where I want it. Okay, so this is what you do. You just adjust it to where you think it looks good. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go for, uh, let's go for about right there. You do the push to finalize. Sometimes this takes a little while. It depends on the size of your picture. So sometimes you go in and edit your photo before you come to Stencilgram. And that will save you a lot. Okay. So that looks good. You want to go to the SVG link nerds only. So it'll come up. Well, what do you do? There's no place to download. Look, there's nothing here. What you need to do, put your cursor over it and right click one time. It comes up as save as. Okay, so come in here. I know I need to save it right here and replace that. Okay, so that's cool. So now it's saved as an SVG. So now I'm going to come in here. I need to pause this because I need to adjust my screen. Okay, so I click on my SVG icon. Oh, my brain is not working. I have way too much on my mind. Okay, so Carrie and Joey. Okay, so now I need to start trimming this up because I don't want, see when you hover over it, all of these colors is where your blade is going to cut. Well, I don't want that to happen. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my library here. And I'm going to pull this in. So you want to get rid of as much background noise as you can. Because you don't want all that to be cut. Let's kind of bump this over a little bit. Okay. Highlight it all. Come up to path. Let's do this. Oh, I think I did the wrong one. If you do, don't worry. You just go click undo. Oh, no, that was the right one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser. And I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to eliminate some of this stuff. Like I don't want the car in the background. Okay. You don't want to cut the hats off. And you want to leave some detail on the sides, you know, because the shirt isn't outlined. And there's another way to do it, too. You can actually go and you can do a negative to add a border. And then you'll do another negative, which I just did for one of these. Okay. Come on. Sometimes, I shouldn't say sometimes, all the time when you use a eraser in scale, it'll uh, usually do the not responding. It takes a little while sometimes for it to register, so don't freak out. But if you get it to where it crashes your system, uh, go in and try to redo some part of it, like this file. Um, before I went in and modified it, every time I tried to work on it, it would crash my system. So I had to go in and really clean it up and crop out a lot of the background. Okay. So let me show you what I'm talking about, about doing the negative and then another negative. If you want to build a um, border. 
Okay, so there's, see the little blue line that comes across there? That'll tell you when you're meeting the edge. And you want to just go a little bit over that. Come on. No, you know what? I'll try to see if it'll work by doing it just like that. We'll see. We can always add to it. There we go. Okay. path. Oops, you know what I forgot to do. Come in here and just click Union. A lot of times when you go in and you start erasing, you have to do it. But anytime you go in and you use the paintbrush, you must do the Union. If not, you'll end up with a ton of little cut lines that just drive you batty. I'm going to do the two page. And then this one, I can do the two page as well. That'll give me just what I need. Okay, now highlight both of them. Path, and we'll do the back minus front. Nope, not what I wanted. Front minus back. And wait, sometimes forever. Okay, click off of it, come back in, highlight it again. Let's change our color. Okay, so now there's the negative. But look, we're starting to get a border, which is what I want. All right. But it's not completely closed in. So let's come and let's add some lines. I sometimes lose them because I can't see ever. Okay, so there it meets at the bottom. That means that's cool. And there's the one that we'll bring across. I think that's at the end. I can't see it. It's hard to grab this. Sometimes it'll turn on you. <clears throat> I don't want to rotate. There we go. That's equal. Okay. So click off of that. Let's come over here and grab another one for this right side. Put it on there. There we go. I'm actually going to go up all the way up so that we catch every part of it. And let's drag it all the way down. And you can hardly see it, but it is yellow. There we go. Let's come up here. Go to Path and click Union. And then that will help close everything up. Okay, so now let's go grab a square. Oops, there we go. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. Now this will return us back to what our original image started out as. So when you start doing negatives, <clears throat> all right, here we go. This is what I want. Because this is what our image started out being. Oops. Let's change the color so that we can see it better. There we go. Now we have edges. At least we should have. If not, I can go ahead and add another one. We had them all the way around except for right here. And I will go ahead and blow this up just so I can make sure. But right now, we'll do it this way. And then I'm going to show you how to go in and clean some of this up because you don't want your blade doing a whole lot of work. Okay. So let's come down here after it decides it's going to work. Okay. So you highlight. You see all this? That's what the blade wants to cut. Well, we don't want that. So I go to about 150. Come on. There we go. And we're going to see if we can't take some of this out. 
We don't want to lose the integrity of the people's faces. Okay. But, like a lot of this stuff down here, we can color it in because it doesn't have anything to do with their facial features. And sometimes when you go change in face, facial features, it completely changes the look of the person. Even the slightest little change in hair, and I'm erasing all this stuff. The slightest little change in their hair or their face or the lip or the eye makes it not them anymore. Okay. So let's go back to the... And then I'm just coloring this in. And this is going to need to be unioned when I'm done. <clears throat> I'm going to change the size to make it even thinner. And you don't have to worry about being straight. And it looks like the pen is writing and it's not. You see that? So don't worry about that. To cover up all these tiny little white spots. You don't want that. I like all this excess stuff over here. Okay, but this is how you do it. Alright, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish up all of this, but I wanted to show you how you really go about doing um, the stencil gram and you go about saving it and trimming it and adding to it now let's see here if you wanted to do the full like blackout stencil I'll show you how to do one of those my net is kinda of slow today okay let's see one of these let's see let's take this one this is a really good one. Okay, you see? There's a perfect one. You're just going to adjust the balance up, all right? Or you take it down and you get the face. Like this one, I had to actually do two separate scans. I scanned this part, or saved this part, just like this. And then I came back in, and I did this. And I caught this whole background. Then what I did is I combined them, and then I did the back minus front, and it gave me such a cool look, okay? But for people that want to do the silhouettes, this is how you do them. You just bring the balance up a whole bunch, okay? Let me pop off of here. Let's start a second page, and I'll show you the, oops, bring you out here. I'll show you one of the dad. Okay, so this is the dad. This is the, I brought the both of them in the first part. Get this off of here. The first part and the second part. And then I union them, to, or not union them. I did the back minus front and merged them together. So put them both together and this is what happened. It turned out so cool. All right. So if you have a really dark image or you're not able to pull a really good image, try making it really light and only getting certain parts of it and then try making it really dark and just getting the outline of it and then putting them together um, and then doing the back minus front <clears throat> so that you're um, putting the two best parts of this image together okay all right um, if you guys have any questions about how to do this um, give me a holler over at scan and cut canvas and scale help on Facebook all right guys Thanks a lot.